friends. So this is my first voiceover. I lost the audio for this portion of the video, so bear with me. Um, I'm gonna do my best. But this is the budget for the month of September. So we have a four week month this month. I do believe there's a five week month on the way soon, but let's not think about it. So we've all seen this spreadsheet before. Um, just my normally normal income and my normal outgoings. I've already balanced the income with what I've budgeted. So we have zero left over as per the zero based budgeting method. And today we just need to go through and figure out what cash we actually need to get. Um, this video will also include my first cash condensing, not a full one, but my first cash condensing, which is super exciting. And it means that I don't actually have to go to the bank this month. So that is what we're going to go through today. So first I'll bring you down into bills. So nothing much has changed here this month, I don't think. I'm not going to be topping up my travel cards this month. I have two because sometimes I leave the house without one. So I try to keep one in each of my handbags or each of my purses. So normally I do 20 a month and I do 10 on either card, but I haven't been using it lately. So I have a good bit built up. So I've taken that money and I'm gonna put it elsewhere. And also for food shop this month, we're gonna try budget 50. I feel like the price of food's gone down a little bit or maybe just with the hot weather, we're not eating as much. I'm not really sure which it is, but for this month, 50 should do each week for the food shop. And then on top of that, I've gotten rid of some of my subscriptions just to see how I get on without them. And um, that may change, but for the minute, that's what we're doing. And the last piece here is the bank buffer. I just use this to balance out everything because sometimes there's a random two euro left in the budget. Okay, so then this is the purse for this month. You'll see diesel, I have reduced it to 80. I've been budgeting 100 every month, but I just haven't spent it. So I'm bringing it down to 80. Uh, see if we use that this month, probably won't, but at least it frees up 20 euro in the budget elsewhere. Everything else is the same for this month. Spending, takeaway, fun and dates. Everything's the exact same as it usually is. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to go through on this one. Then going into sinking funds for this month. So I tried my best to give as many categories as possible a bit of love this month. So we're going to be doing 24 kombucha. Um, I think that's a little bit less than what we've been doing recently, but we're up to a good amount. We're going to do 40 week into beauty. The reason for this is, and I, I did mention it, in my last weekly cash stuffing is that I want to start giving myself a little bit more into beauty because that's where I, if I go crazy and go on a bender, that's where I will spend the bulk of my money is buying like makeup and skincare and stuff. So between this and clothing, these are getting some extra attention, probably not just this month, but over the next few months, because although all of this money is being kept for me, it's, it's not all for me and spending on myself and I want to give myself a little bit more to work with on that so that is the plan holidays getting 125 same as last month we're trying to keep that going at 500 a month then holiday spending isn't getting anything for the minute we're skipping that the one month ahead is getting 20 a week and then a fiver into car insurance car tax tech and health then clothing is going to be getting 10 as I said want to beef this up a little bit along with beauty and then so going out isn't going to be getting anything because we did a good bit of topping up for that last month hobbies is getting a random five that was left at the end of the budget we will stuff that monthly and um, so that that'll get stuffed very soon and then christmas we're pausing on so christmas we actually don't have to keep going with this one for the minute i think i have more than enough to get me through christmas but we have a couple of months left if i do need to make any last minute changes I think we're in a really good place for September. So I think we should be able to pause that one. Then birthdays is getting a fiver a week. So is laser, so is house, future husband, wedding and giveaway are all getting a fiver. And then emergency fund, we have stopped putting money into that for the moment because we are all good. So into our favorite sheet, the cash request. So we need to make all these red boxes go green. So for diesel, it's going to be 150, 120 and 110. And there's a little green box. Love that. Then for spending, it's going to be 420s. Takeaway is going to get 420s and 45s. Oh, wait, I've made a mistake on my spending. What's happening here? 
Four twenties. Yes. Thank you, Juliana. <laughs> then takeaway is going to get four twenties and four fives. Fun will be getting four tens and four fives. Dates will get the same. Cinema is fine with its 120. Coffee is good with 120. Buffer is getting its 110. That's fine. Kombucha needs four fives. Pedicure is getting skipped. Beauty is going to get eight twenties. Today's spending isn't getting anything for the minute. One month ahead will get four twenties. These ones are easy because it's all fives. Clothing's getting four tens and I've now realised we made a mistake for holiday so going back up to rectify this. It's the twenties that are the problem. I need four twenties. Happy days. Christmas is getting nothing. Birthdays is five. Sorry, four fives, four fives, four fives, all the way down. Four fives again. Four fives, four fives, and then nothing for emergency funds. So we can take that one out. And then we have our beautiful spreadsheet full of green. It's my favorite time of the month. Perfect. And then this is the cash request that I would need to bring to the bank. But as you'll see in the next clip, I've actually figured out after my three month check in that I have enough cash here that needs to go back to the bank that I'm just going to use going forward. So It'll probably be another few months before I can do this again, but I thought if I need to lodge any, anything into the bank, why not just use that for cash stuffing for this month? So just checking my control sheet as well. It does say that the cash that I have budgeted equals the amount that would be left in the account after it bills, meaning that I will not have anything left. So yeah, I'll bring you through my cash condensing. I've just been sitting here, guys, having a look at this three month check-in. And I just thought I'd add this bit on to the video because I've realized that with the, the some of the bigger envelopes that I want to put that money back into the bank, I think I have enough that I don't need to go to the bank at all this month because say I'm, I'm thinking for hair and beauty, for Christmas, for Florida, where I have a little bit of say, say big amounts in there. If I add all of those up, it's equaling more than what I needed to take out of the bank when I get paid. So I was just working it out. And I think what I'm gonna do is I, I just made a list of the cash that needs to go to the bank and the cash that needs to come out of the bank. And I basically managed to get it to equal each other here. So I'm gonna go through and do my first cash condensing, I think. It's not gonna be a full, full cash condensing. We're not gonna go through absolutely everything but I can definitely take out the cash for next month's income, which is super exciting. And then when I get paid, so just in case this doesn't make sense, I know I said it earlier and this used to really, really confuse me. But what I mean is that the money that I'm gonna take out and replace with placeholders, I should be bringing that to the bank. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna keep that. And instead of going to the bank to take out my wages for weekly cash stuffing, then I'm just gonna use the cash I already have and the money that hits my bank account for my wages will go to whatever account these placeholders represent. <laughs> I probably feel like I don't think I made that any better, but bear with me. I'm going to put this off to the side and we can do my first cash condensing. So the first place to go will be sinking funds. So we're going to take a 50 out of car tax. So this has 75 at the minute, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, hold on, was that 80? 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, thank you, okay. So I'm going to take four tens and two fives, we're not going to be too neat with this for a minute. I'm going to take out a 50 and this should then be 55, 65, 75. Cool. This one might be a bit confusing um, just for my first time cash condensing. So bear with. 
This one's going to get the same. So let's do four tens and two fives and give it a 50. So that's 55, 65, 75. All right, and what else in here is getting Christmas is we're going to try to take 300 out of here. I think so. We have 300, and I'm not going to count this again. We have 335, I think. So I think I'm going to leave. I'm going to need to take out the 50s actually. So pop them there for a sec. So that's 100, 120. 125, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, I've done something wrong already. So that was 100, 120. Okay, I'm gonna take this back. What about, oh, I keep missing the 50 in there, damn it. Okay, so there's 150, 160, 70. Add 50. There should be 35 left in this envelope once I'm done. So one, two, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 35. And take 300 in a placeholder. So this should be. 335 it'll all add up at the end and if it doesn't i know i've made a mistake so you have 2 3 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 okay can't even get my hands on them now what else in here is getting taken up birthdays not technology I could technically condense technology, but I'm kind of afraid that if I put this one in the account, it's not for a specific purpose and therefore I might be more likely to spend it. That's why it's staying. Giveaway I'm going to take out because I'm going to need that money in my account for whenever. So that's 20, 30, 40 and 50. So we'll pop a placeholder in here. And then Florida has 320, so we're gonna leave a 20 in there and take the rest and pop 200 and a 100 in. Okay, I think that's everything in this binder that's getting condensed. Then in my binder, I'm gonna take 200 out of oof, 200 out of hair and beauty so i think we'll try go with the smallest first so that's 10 20 30 40 50 60 i'm gonna have to leave that five so that's 60 80 1 and 20 40 60 80 2 so 45 is what should be left in there so that's perfect Meaning we now have 245. Okay, kombucha is getting condensed. So we're gonna take 55 out of here, which is all of my notes. Is it 20, 30, 40, 55? Okay, that's perfect. And I have a little. I haven't done a placeholder specifically for a fiver yet, so that'll have to do. Okay, so we did Florida, we did Christmas, we did beauty, giveaway, tax insurance, booch. Okay, so the last one is the one month ahead and that's in my savings challenge binder. Oh, sounds like I broke it. Okay, and then going into one month ahead and don't kill me, I ended up unstuffing some of the knockout nine to put into one month ahead. That's that's always how it was going to work, but I did it off camera just so I could get myself sorted for this. So from one month ahead, we are also taking 50. There's already a placeholder in here, 20, 40. Oh, what can I do? 20, 30, 40, 50. We'll do it that way. 
and then you need a 50. So that's 250, 60, 70, 80. And there's a five in here, I realized. I don't know how it got here. It's completely unaccounted for on the tracker. But always better to have more money than less money gone missing. Okay, is that everything? I believe it is. And then I have some cash just from uh, my fiance because he had to make a purchase on the credit card. So it was just to pay that back, which I can do when I get paid. So I'm just going to get that. And then all of this together should add up to the amount that I need, which I will double check as I grab the other cash. Okay, so based on what I have here, it looks like it's supposed to be 1,655 over here. So let's give it a count and see where I messed up. And if I didn't, go me. Okay, so we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So there's 650s. In 20s, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80. Five, five twenty. In tens, we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, three, ten, twenty, three, twenty. Okay, save the day fives. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I feel like I always, something about the first like four or five fivers always messes me up. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 205, 210. Okay. 210. Are we a fiver off? Oh, there's five in here. Oh my God. So it was right. Okay. Amazing. I think what I'm going to do is just get this out of the way I'm thinking I'm going to split this mm, wait let me think okay guys so we're ready to get set up for the month of September so I've got my cheat sheet done done my budget did my cash condensing there's a lot of steps to get to the monthly budget for this month but without further ado we can get into it so firstly I'm just going to stuff for a couple of monthly items that I always stuff rather than doing them weekly so the first one is wallet reserves Diesel will be getting 80. Oh my god. <laughs> Diesel. Okay, so this one needs 80 euro. I actually haven't even topped up the car with last month's diesel yet, but we shall get there. And then the other ones in here that need to be stuffed is coffee. So coffee's getting 20 and so is cinema. I think there's 60 in cinema now because we haven't really had anything that we wanted to go see. So that one's working out well. So the next one then is hobbies. This, I had a random fiver left over in the budget. So hobbies can have a random five. Yeah, let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in hobbies. This is kind of like the very like dregs of the budget. If if there's anything left over, hobbies will get it. So I think that's everything that needs to get stuffed for the monthly. The rest should just go into the income binder. Here we go. All right. 
Place your bets now on whether I can actually do this right this time. Have I had enough practice? Right, so we have 20 for spending, 25 for food, 15 for dates, uh-oh, 15 for fun. This might get messy, but hopefully this means I'll get it right. Then we have 145, so the two fifties, two twenties, and a five, and then an extra five. Okay, doing okay. Then we're gonna go five for booch, 40 for beauty. Five for car insurance and a five for car tax. Five for tech, five for health. Clothing is getting a 10. Birthdays gets a five. Laser gets a five. House gets a five. Future husband, wedding and, uh oh. <laughs> wedding and giveaway. All right. if. I've done that correctly. This should be 330. So that's 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 300, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Nice. Okay. Not going too bad. Don't want to get too enthusiastic because I know last month I was super enthusiastic, but I've made it crap ton of mistakes so for the rest of the weeks then i should need two fifties one two three four five six twenties three tens so two six three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay two six Three. Did I say 16? Okay. Two, six, three, 16. This is how my head works. <laughs> so let's try and recreate that for each one. Alrighty, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, let's go for 16 here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that was a very close handful. I'm not going to count these again. It should work out at the end. And if it doesn't, we'll fix it then. But I'm manifesting it. Today is going to be the day I don't mess up. Next. Okay, that's good. Should be 620s. Okay, okay, everybody, don't panic, damn, okay, we have, a <laughs> we have an extra 10. Where did that come from? Oh, I know where it came from. I was so quick at solving that. I forgot to put a 10 in buffer. Okay, so just pop a little 10 into buffer. Okay, making less mistakes as time goes on, which is brilliant. So that's our three tens then. And there should be 16 fives. Deep breath. Boom, okay, nice. So that is us all set up for the month of September. Even more exciting that I haven't been paid yet and I'm already set up for the month of September so very happy with that and very happy with my chunky lemon binder 
for the income so thanks so much for watching guys and yeah i have nothing more to say for this one but i hope you enjoyed budgeting with me for the month and getting all set up and here's to a good september bye guys Thank you.